Hey, it's Byam here from Niche. Right, so we've had the autumn statement and I've just watched it now. Um, what do you think? What I think is much for much, to be honest with you, they leaked the whole thing beforehand and they've, um, they've mastered the art of scaring people so much and then the, when they come out and they stand up and they talk, it's not as bad. So uh, my first impression is it's not as bad as what I thought it would be. Obviously, if you're a higher earner, you've been hit in terms of the, uh, the, the reduction. Um, um, and also capital gains tax was interesting. They were always going to play around with the dividend sort of uh, tax element of it, the uh, tax-free element of it. Um, there's been bits and pieces there. Obviously, the stamp duty change. Yeah, but, I don't, you know, 250K, yes, it helps for a lot of people, but I don't think that's fundamentally going to help shift more stock. Um, the problem is uh, the higher interest rates, which are going to continue, in all honesty. Yes, we have seen a reduction in rates, and yes, I am seeing that go through uh, in both white let as well as residentials, um, but there wasn't anything major that will change things i think it's more of the same in terms of trying to bring some stability trying to bring some uh, accountability to what they're doing um you know there have been so many chancellors out there i mean i was thinking about this um you've got hunt who uh went against boris didn't he he went against boris to become uh the uh, the leader so he failed because boris won you got rishi who also not long ago went against trust to become a leader and he failed so not only they haven't been selected or, or, or picked by the, the the public they haven't even been picked by their own you know they were not even first choice by their own people so um uh, or certainly the conservative party uh, in, in terms of sunak i think the mps probably preferred sunak um but um the conservative parties and then you look back at all the the various people out there you know the problem is um i don't think labor will do much better i don't i don't think they particularly what do they stand for i don't i don't really think labor stands for anything anymore i mean i, I understood what corbyn's government's or gorman's corbyn's um labor stood for i could understand that um rightly or wrongly i know what they stood for okay um but then you've got the people that stood behind him they stood for the same things then, but now they're trying to distance themselves. So as far as I'm concerned, they've got no credibility. At least you know the Conservative Party are dishonest. Right? At least you know that they do take big packed money. You know they're, you know they're corrupt in many ways. Most of them are anyway. Most uh, politicians are. But at least you know what you're getting with the Conservative Party. And... I, th I don't think they're pretty, you know, under Boris, certainly. They certainly didn't hide it, uh, they did, you know. But with the Labour, what do they stand for? Are they business friendly? Not particularly. Are they union friendly? Well, not particularly. Are they, are their foreign policy any different? Not particularly. Um, are their economic policy any different? Mm, yes, and there, but the good bits, the Conservatives are nicking anyway. So, you know, some of those taxes that, you know, Labour comes up and says we should do it, Conservatives come out and say, oh, no, no, that's terrible, that's going to be horrible for business, and then they'll, they'll steal it anyway. So, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a no man's land in this government right now. You've got the Conservatives who have basically been in charge for so many years, all of this is, is basically down to them. They have screwed things up. There's no doubt about it. They've lied. They've cheated. They've taken money off people. They, you know, look at what Cameron did. Cameron took a load of money. You could look at the wars they created, the Libya, what they did over there. Cameron's off ski now. He's taking his pension. You've got all sorts of problems with them. But at least you know what they are. Labour, the guy stands up, dry as hell. Yeah, he can... He can you know, talk to talk in the questioners, uh, you know, Prime Minister's question time, but I don't think they stand for anything. I honestly don't. I'd rather them be left-wing, pro-tax, pro-everything, and at least you know where they stood. And then you can make a decision and go, right, okay, this is the type of uh, Labour government we want, um, as opposed to this. And then it's up to people to pick and choose what they want based on policy, based on personalities, based on... Uh, uh, principles, whatever it is, but right now, not much between them. You might as well stick, stick with this guy. I mean, the hunt in terms of him, I actually don't mind the guy. I actually think he's he should have been probably well, he should have been the prime minister before Johnson anyway. Um, but he seems to have sort of 
played the political game quite well and uh, what you've got right now is is someone who uh, you know who is at least he's been an entrepreneur at least he's been in business at least you know he hasn't been a career politician you know uh, born into it uh, or, or found himself because of rich mummy and daddy or family collection into a you know hedge fund somewhere and after hedge fund he can come back and become a journalist and and then and then probably after his career as a politician become a journalist again um yeah sorry i've waffled on there's not too much going on you know see it's really boring don't you find it boring um i have to say though um i was uh searching on i was on facebook yesterday and on, on in within about a minute's worth of scrolling i must have seen about 20 mortgage broker adverts so obviously i'm a mortgage broker so i've been looking at various sites but there's so much out there we can save you money we can do this we can do that and i'm bored of it so i don't know uh let me know what you guys think uh i'll catch you uh, on the next one the content of this video does not constitute giving advice it's purely for information purposes all cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker as a mortgage is secured against your home or property it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.